Hello and welcome to the Santu Pearls Market Commentary, Market Week ending Friday, May 3rd, 2013. Market Breadth. With this past week's market rise, our bull bear point and figure ratio rose from 1.42 to 1.73, regaining more bullish territory. The total count of securities in bullish or bearish patterns decreased 4% to 2,249. The count of bearish stocks decreased 8%, while the count of stocks in bullish patterns increased 12%. The Santu Pearls PNF Market Breadth Summary Chart shows us a market now 22 consecutive weeks in bullish territory. Paid subscribers have access to the Excel data from which the chart is generated. You may become a paid subscriber by visiting s2pmarketsignal.com and clicking on the Membership tab. There is available a two-week free trial membership. The well-known market breadth indicator, the NASDAQ McClellan Summation Index, rose 117 points for the 16th rise in 32 weeks. At a positive 234.17 points, it has risen above the November 2011 top, but remains below the February 2013 top, the September 2012 top, the February 2012 top, the November 2010 top, and the January 2011 top, yet above the July 2012 top, the June 2010 bottom, the March 2011 bottom, the June 2011 bottom, the August 2011 bottom, the December 2011 bottom, the March 2012 bottom, and the November 2012 bottom. In this week's volume analysis, the Russell 2000 ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode. In the last two weeks, it had zero accumulation days and four distribution days. Of the other indexes, both the S&P 500 deposit receipts and the Diamonds Trust ended in accumulation mode. Accumulation days are counted when the index closes up on higher volume than the prior day, while distribution days occur when the index closes down on volume higher than the prior market day. Last week, the Russell 2000 also ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode. Momentum. With the CCI 20 daily at 185.77, we continue outside the plus or minus 50 range for a valid zero line reject long entry signal. In Woody's CCI trading system, six consecutive bars above or below zero are required for a change of trend. The weekly CCI 20 of the NASDAQ Composite Index began a Woody's uptrend 12 weeks ago while the daily CCI 20 began a Woody's uptrend seven weeks ago. The CCI 20 weekly now has 18 weeks above zero and began a Woody's uptrend 12 weeks ago. At 171.12, it continues outside the plus or minus 50 range for a valid zero line reject signal. Industry rotation the last two weeks. All of the top five industries are positive, and three of the bottom five industries are negative. Bullish, disk drives remains in and leads the top five. Computer hardware has entered the top five. Networkers, computer tech, and internet have left the bottom five. Oil has left the top five. Bearish, banks has left the top five. Oil Services has entered the top five. Focus this week, The Financial Press, A Disinformation Machine by Paul Craig Roberts. In America, everything is hype for a buck. They will sell you any lie. And the bulk of the population, of course, can be counted on for falling for every lie. Hope you enjoy that article and learn something from it as we did. This market commentary submitted by Donald Pearl. 
Thank you for watching and happy trading.